The uncharted depths of Lady Bird Lake are a little less mysterious now. Since the early 2000s, scientists at UT had been testing underwater surveying and sediment sampling instruments in the lake using sonar equipment that studied the terrain. It's very powerful at uh, giving us an image of the topography or the shape of the bottom lake bed. And um, so we can see a lot of detail um, just in, in the topography down there. It's not flat. That data largely went unused until a collaboration was formed with the Austin Watershed Department just last year. Knowing how our lakes are changing can be vital in keeping it healthy at a time when more of us are worried about toxic algae. Rivers are conduits for, for sediments uh, historically. Um, they bring it in and they move it down river pretty quickly. Lakes on the other hand, those tend to be uh, repositories, uh, places where sediments are deposited. Sediments are usually small deposits made up of rocks and minerals worn down by erosion and weather. The various dams along the Colorado River prevent those sediments from reaching the ocean and that can cause problems. The sediments that are being moved into the reservoirs are carrying a lot of nutrients and as those nutrients accumulate and build up, uh, those become fuel for excessive algae or plant growth. Uh, so there is very likely a connection there. To reduce the influx of sediment or nutrient runoff, the city of Austin has created these buffer strips or plant grow zones to help act like a barrier to protect the lakes. In the meantime, these studies of the lake terrain look to create a baseline for future surveys. Part of what this survey is about is seeing how the vegetation extent of the vegetation grows and shrinks over the course of a year due to seasonal changes. Knowing where and how quickly the sediments are depositing could eventually lead to predicting toxic algae blooms in the future. In Austin, meteorologist Nick Bannon, KXAN News. Thank you, Nick. Interesting stuff there.